Hello everybody, Neil here, the Rider Guy. Thanks for joining me today. Um, massive, massive gratitude towards my recent subscribers and all the previous ones. Of course, what's happened is, uh, as uh, my regular viewers will know, I put up a Yamaha Tenere uh, seat hack just a week ago, and I've ended up with like nearly a five, <laughs> something like pushing 5,000 hits in a week and 100 subscribers. Uh, it is my new bike, I love it, and because of that, um, I've decided to create a playlist, if you like, on the channel, which I'm going to be uploading a lot of the Tenere stuff. I've ended up with about an extra 90 or 100 subscribers just this week alone, and I massively appreciate it. Welcome to the channel, all my new Yamaha Tenere friends. I'm sure we can share a lot of fun along the way, and keep in touch keep in touch with the channel and keep watching my stuff. Now, my regular viewers will know um, my core business isn't the Yamaha Tenere, but I will keep it going. My core business, however, is defensive riding for the roads. And I've got a great tip today. And it's possibly one of the most important ones I've ever introduced. I hope that it's something that you can all put in place in your rides and it's a bit unusual. Now, I've always said it, there's no reason why any of us ever have to come into conflict with other road users at all. We are very much in the in control of our own destiny. I've always said that. And we, as motorcyclists, the longer we have in the saddle, the more experience we get, the better, the better we get at predicting what's going on around us. You talk, I've said this before, you talk about guys that, to, to guys and girls that have been riding 20 years, they'll hardly have any conflict. They'll, they'll not even have near misses and that's just experience that I'm trying to, you know, get over and get across to newer riders and to explain that if you get, somebody pulls out on you, you're as much as fault as, as the guy that pulled out on you or a lady that pulled out on you you're a contributory factor and you've got to try and be less of a contributory factor, which I'll come to and we'll cover even in more detail in the future. Now, as I said, we're very much able to head things off. However, there's a couple of things which I'm gonna to come to which really are very hard to predict. One, of course, is fauna. I live in Australia. We all know what we've got here big bouncy things that actually taste quite nice. Um, these bloody things are a nightmare and they ain't, they ain't got a lot of road sense. They're not the brightest of creatures. Uh, we also have, we have uh, deer, we have cattle, we have wild horses, we have wild goats and all manner of things that will kill you. The only place you're safe is well, nowhere in Australia, you can't ride in the sea, you'll get taken by crocs or sharks. So, yeah, nice place. Um, but, you know, worldwide, you go to Africa, you go, you, you've got all sorts of problems out there. You, you, States, Canada, there's all sorts, moose, bloody bears, you name it. You, <laughs> animals, we can't predict them. The only way you're going to really protect yourself from animals is just ride accordingly, slow down, consider the environment, consider the time of day. That's animals. What other problem can we possibly come up against? Let me tell you, you've got to consider the cockhead. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me tell you, we're not talking about little old lady, little old man, or the bloke on his phone, woman doing a makeup, driving down the road, eating a sandwich and not concentrating. I'm talking about the recklessly aggressive, for example, young lad racing his mates, overtaking, playing Russian roulette in dangerous places where he's got away with it for so long. It's only a matter of time where this unpredictable nature you've got with some people, some young lads that just drive like that. How do you defend against that? How do you defend against the cockhead? Let's have a quick look on that at an example that I'm going to show that could just save your life. Right, let's just pause it here. 
And I'll have a bit of a chat about what's happening on the screen here. I'm uh, on my way back from a, uh, a long adventure ride. I've been out all day, 320 k's. We've done off road. You can see how mucky my screen is here. And it, I just had, had an epic day. I was on my way back after leaving the rest of the guys on the Tenere's. Um, now, I'm stuck in uh, on this road. I'm bimbling along behind this gentleman here. I don't know who he is. He's on his uh, BMW R1200 RT, I think it was. He was riding okay and uh, obviously out for a Sunday bimble and I was on my way home. Now, what I'm talking about is this situation here where we are approaching the crest of a hill. And the rule, of course, as always, when you're on your motorbike, is being able to stop in the distance that you can see on your side of the road. Now, as we approach this crest of this hill, this is what I'm talking about, about considering the cockhead. We'll press play, ready to pause. Now, you see my hand then, I'm just pointing out a bit about road positioning. Now, what we're talking about here is this gentleman in front is doing nothing wrong, but has he considered the danger? Has he considered the cockhead? Let's just drop it back a little bit and start again. Now, as we're cresting, what happens if we meet the cockhead coming the other way. Now watch my road positioning. Now, I'll go just another section forward. Now look, there's a car there. The worst case scenario is get is the cockhead coming the other way, overtaking his mate, maybe overtaking this guy, playing Russian roulette. Don't get me wrong, of course he's in the wrong. It's illegal. But he's got away with it so many times in his life and it's only a matter of time before he pulls the trigger on somebody like you or me or this gentleman here and takes him out. Now, going back just a little bit of a frame or two, who between me and him has got most chance of survival if we meet the cocker coming the other way? We know the answer. Of course, it's me. I'm not saying I wouldn't get clipped, I wouldn't get hit, but I've still got much more of an opportunity to counter steer very quickly, push against them left hand bars at uh, left hand handlebar at that point uh, sorry start again at that point if I see somebody coming I'm going to be in here very quickly to avoid anybody coming towards me on the wrong side of the road I'm not saying it's foolproof I'm not saying it's always practical but what I'm saying is keep that mentality of the what if what if you met the cockhead coming the other way that's defensive riding, it's thinking ahead. If you constantly have that mentality, you'll get home, you will survive. So that's your lot. Thank you very much for watching. Please consider sharing this on your social networks. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe bell. Keep in touch and ride safe.